For this next video, I'm going to continue to explore uh, more striking patterns using uh, Spadia Dagger, which is sword and dagger, but we're going to substitute the sword for the stick, uh, quite beaten up stick at that. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is just the basic five angles of attack. So I'm going to do a diagonal strike, a diagonal strike, a horizontal strike, a horizontal, and thrust. Okay, so I'll do that again. One, two, three, four, and five. One more. One, two, three, four, five. But notice the whole time that the knife was right on my hip. Okay, so it wasn't like dangling down or... It was, it was always ready to strike if I had to. So if I'm, if I'm hitting Bob, I'll just turn this a little bit. If I'm hitting Bob with these strikes, I do one, two, three, three, and the whole time, this is ready to launch if need be. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do is launch it after every strike. So I'll do that same number one strike, but then I'll get them with this knife thrust, and then I'll do a backhand, and I'll get them with the knife thrust. Horizontal, and I hit them with the uh, thrust, and then I come back, and I hit them with the thrust, <clears throat> hit them low, <clears throat> and come back. So I do that standard one forehand strike, and as soon as I hit, I'm vulnerable, <clears throat> so I hit them with the knife. Come back with the backhand, and I catch them with the knife. And then I go <clears throat> horizontal, catch them with the knife, horizontal, catch them with the knife, <clears throat> hit them low, and hit them the other side. Okay, so if we try that pattern, basically I'm hitting them with a number one, and then right away the knife hits. The backhand, the knife hits. Forehand, the knife hits. The knife hits, and I use two strikes, one with the club, one with the knife. Okay, this time, I'm gonna do that same pattern again. I'm gonna go stick, knife, but then come back with another stick. Okay, so I'm going to go one, <laughs> hit him with the knife. I could just do a backhand, but to change it up, I'll use the puño, which is the butt end of the stick. Okay, so I'll do the one, <laughs> hit, <laughs> and I come back, and I come back, and I hit, <laughs> and I hit, and I hit with the stick, and the knife, <laughs> and the stick, the stick and the knife, <laughs> the stick. Now, here, because I went stick, knife, stick, I'll go one, <laughs> two, <laughs> and three. There's no use to hitting with the puño on the low thrust. Okay, so on Bob, I would do that initial strike, the knife, and then hit them with the puño, assuming they're close enough. And I do the same on this side. I do a horizontal, and I come back, and I hit, and then I go one, two, boom, and I hit them with that last strike. Last one, I'll just change up the order. I'll go stick, stick, knife. Okay, so I'll do that same one, hit them with the puño, and then the backhand comes. So I go one, two, and then at the end, come with the knife. And I come back, I go strike, strike, hit, strike, strike, hit. So I do two sticks, stick, stick, knife. In other words, translate on opponent, I would do the one, hit them with the puño, and then the knife hits. Hit, puño, then the knife, <clears throat> then the knife, then the knife, see, and then the knife. So all I'm doing is just changing up my striking patterns, but keeping within that same one to five striking pattern, you can make up extra ones on your own. Try it, you guys.